Hello, back to work on the 32 today. First thing we're going to do is change the pressure switch on the brakes, and then it's time to do some putty and some block sanding on the body. Let's get to work. Okay, this pressure switch right here was the issue. The old one was cracked, new one is in, and we're holding brake pressure just fine. Brakes are working. I'm going to pronounce that fixed. The next step is doing some minor body work. Locate all the positions of this, like this here, this here, all over the body. Circle them, mark them with the pencil, and fill them with putty. Once the putty dries, we start block sanding. Okay, the idea here is I've got some slight imperfections from where I sanded off the body seam from the mold, and I've got some pinholes and some other imperfections. So use this glazing putty to fill it in, let it dry, then sand it to contour. From a distance, the body always looks good, but when you get down on it, you start seeing the imperfections and everything, and it kind of adds up, and the car suddenly looks like it has the measles. So that's just the way it usually goes. Progress is progress. Few hours and many many pieces of sandpaper later uh, we've got the first blocking done uh, let me show you what we got probably gonna have to uh, come back with another block of 320 because some of these areas here were a little rougher than I thought but they're blended nicely now I'm gonna come back spray another thick coat of primer on it the high build that I'm using on it and come back and block it again depending on the texture of the finish I will either come back with another round of 320 or I'll do 400 this next round but this area here where it was a little bit gouged from getting rid of the uh, seams is nice and uh, flush now the lines are much better than they were she's coming together slowly this just takes time you cannot get in a hurry This being the tedious part of the build, uh, I've reached a point now where I'm at a standstill on it. What I've done today so far is, of course, I replaced the pressure switch on the uh, on the brakes. That is working good. I still need to re-bleed out the brakes because I think I introduced a little bit of air in it when I swapped out the pressure switch. Re-bleed the brakes, but I'll do that on the next trip. But what I've done on this one is, I took the body that was in primer from the last trip. Uh, I blocked it with 320 dry. Uh, I, I also uh, took some glazing putty and filled in some imperfections on the body, sanded it down, sprayed primer again, and as with always with uh, this particular step, when you spray the primer and get it back up, you find more and more blemishes. This is the tedious part of redoing it. So what I've done now is I've gone back with more glazing putty. You'll see that there's a lot less of it now than there was previously. And uh, I'm going to let that cure. Uh, and then come down next trip, I'm going to block it again with 320 and sand that off, prime it again, and I should be ready for the first time of wet sand 400. Let's keep our fingers crossed, but let me show you what we got. Little imperfections. You can see we don't have nearly as many as we did before, but I found some more imperfections on it. Got a flat spot back here I'm trying to deal with. That's probably the worst part, but we're trying to correct that. Had a pinhole here. Had a little bit of a flat spot there couple of pinholes here, here, and here, and one down there. Found a couple here on the firewall, there, there, and there. And of course, a few more pinholes here, here, and here. So what I will do next trip, that should be good and cured. One of the problems I had today is the uh, glazing putty takes a long time to set up and it never did really set up like I wanted it to. So I have uh, I've decided that I'm going to let this set up. And uh, sand, when I get back the next time, the first thing I'll do is sand those places down, get those done. Then I will block the, the uh, car in 320 again. Check for any more imperfections. If I don't find any, we'll go to 400. If I do find some, we'll prime it again and do it again. You cannot rush this because... The real work in a paint job is in the prep. Spraying the paint, relatively speaking, is easy. It's the prep that's, that's really difficult, and this is the tedious part. 
just be getting a light, going over it with a fine tooth comb, finding places, and uh, trying to take care of them. Well, that's going to do it for this trip. I'm going to be doing some more work on the Cobra coming up very, very soon. Uh, I think uh, in speaking with some other people, I think what I'm going to do also next trip is I'm going to bring the engine and transmission to this coupe down, and we're going to put the engine and transmission in the chassis, and I'm going to take some measurements and go ahead and get a... Uh, get a uh, drive shaft cut for it as soon as I can get some measurements on it. Uh, so, uh, Josh at uh, Eastside Motors, get ready. You're about, you guys are about to make me another trans, uh, drive shaft for this thing. Thanks for joining me. Come back again.